Mr Crispin here once again and today I'm going to show the making of a uh, small device that uh, I'm going to use for tapping small holes. First up I've got this piece of uh, silver steel and I'm going to machine each end to accept a tap. And uh, why am I using a four jaw? Purely because my uh, three jaw has a lot of run out. Some of you uh, may have noticed the knocking noise that my lathe is making and uh, as far as I can work out it's actually um, a tear in the driving belt uh, so I have a spare on standby for when it breaks. Last up, I'm just going to turn a little uh, chamfer on the uh, front of this diameter. Here's your first view of the master plan. So far I've done the drilling and turning in one end and I'm going to do the same to the other end. Uh, then I've got a couple of cross holes to put in. M4, one here, one here. Uh, then some kind of knurled gripper for driving the uh, tap. And uh, finally, shown in green, I've got to make a small brass uh, sleeve or bush for the whole thing to run in. So I'll go ahead and make all these bits uh, on and off camera and then we will assemble it at the end and tap a hole. I'm using the magnetic V-block for drilling my cross holes. And now I'm using the trusty tapping chuck, so I'm using the tapping chuck to make a tapping device. Rather than uh, make something from scratch, I found this uh, knurled knob, and I'm just going to doctor it slightly to uh, fit the bill. There is the uh, knurled uh, piece ready to uh, be attached. Um, to actually uh, fix it on and drive it, I think I'm going to put a um, grub screw through the side um, and I will do that now. I've uh, just chamfered the ends and uh, broken all edges and uh, that completes the brass sleeve so time to assemble it all. That's all the uh, pieces made and I'm now going to show you how it all fits together and uh, I'm going to use it. Uh, I've done a couple of bits off camera, I've put a uh, tapped hole in the side of that and I've filed a corresponding flat on this um, main piece. Uh, so to assemble it I'm going to put uh, this grub screw in here. Uh, 
this should slide on here it's somewhere in the middle and lock it up so that gives me a, uh, a grip I'm now going to take uh, the taps I've got a taper tap and a plug tap and um, these cross holes correspond with the uh, flats on the end of the tap and I'm going to put one grub screw in from each side to pinch the end of the tap so they can go in through there one in that end one in this end and then I've got these little uh, grub screws which I've painstakingly ground down and uh, that should drive the tap and all that remains is the um, sleeve that it runs in this piece of brass simply goes up in the collet of the spindle and this rides in it and uh, I'll show you how that works shortly on the tapping device I've placed a couple of lock nuts to set the depth on the taper tap I'm going to start by loading that into the brass bush and pull the quill down to a stop I'm then going to uh, manually locate the first hole okay, and set the V-block up and engage the magnet drop of oil and then away we go and I'm just going to tap all the way in with the taper tap until uh, I meet the lock nuts you could perhaps um, alter the design of this by putting a T-bar in place of this knurled uh, knob ok that's the nuts there so I wind all the way back up reverse the tapping device all the way down with the plug tap back to the stop and I know how deep to go just because of uh, where I am on the tap so that's one done I then remove this give it a brush off both ends reinstall it taper tap down quill down knock the magnet off find the next hole ok magnet on drop of oil and away we go again well there's another uh, tapping device uh, ready to use and uh, you'll see that in uh, an upcoming video so uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next video